Tiffany Huertas live from the Alamo Dome. Thank you, Tiffany. We've got more breaking news tonight. Bear County Sheriff Javier Salazar cutting ties with the longtime head of his law enforcement division. Assistant Chief Deputy Dale Bennett has retired effective immediately. And within the last 90 minutes, Salazar confirming he was unhappy with Bennett's handling of the high profile Anaqua Springs murder case. Dylan Collier has gathered more details on Bennett's exit. He joins us live outside the jail. Dylan. And Steve, multiple sources telling us if Bennett had not retired, Salazar would have fired him today. Bennett was one of Salazar's original appointees, part of that first administration that came into office with Salazar in January of 2017. But Bennett, according to the sheriff, had expressed reservations recently about an upcoming revamping of the sheriff's office that will include more resources being dedicated to things such as organized crime and combating domestic terrorism. Salazar also confirming, though, that he was unhappy with Bennett's supervision of the Anaqua Springs murder case. Sunday marks two years since the bodies of Nicole Olson and her two daughters were found inside of that upscale residence. And we still do not know if this was a triple murder or if Olson killed her daughters and then fatally shot herself. That case was not handled to the level that I believe that it should have, especially in light of the fact that we've been at it for two years now. And Salazar has described what he called holes in that investigation and the presentation that was given to him. He has also changed investigators and put a new person in charge of handling the Anaqua Springs case. We also learned this afternoon that it's unlikely jail administrator Avery Walker will return to BCSO. He's on uh, some sort of extended leave or vacation. Salazar City has heard rumors that Walker will not be returning to the sheriff's office, but he did say that he has not received any sort of official paperwork on Walker's departure. Reporting live outside the Bear County Jail, Dylan Collier, KSAT 12 News.